I can't believe I'm saying this, but the Florida Panthers are moving on to the Stanley Cup Finals. Still feels weird to say it, but you can't say they don't deserve it. And the person that, that helped them get there the most, in my opinion, is Sergei Bobrovsky. So today I will be putting playoff Bobrovsky into NHL 23, which means 99 overall with a bunch of X factors. And we're going to see how he performs. Year number one, the Florida Panthers would have finished with a 45, 34, and 3 record, earning 93 points, finishing 10th in the entire league. It would be Barkov leading them in points with 89, while Matthew Kachuk led them in goals with 39. And the man we're here for, Sergei Bobrovsky, not very good numbers, especially for a 99 overall goalie. 31 wins in 65 games played, only two shutouts, an 893 save percentage, and a 3.35 goals against average. He won less than half his games and put up very mediocre numbers. Spencer Knight in the backup position played better, 14 wins in 22 games played, one shutout, a 900 save percentage, and a 3.15 goals against average. Certified EA moment if I've ever seen one. The real reason is because Bobrovsky's only six foot two and Spencer Knight six foot three, and that one inch does make a difference. What do you mean by that? Nathan McKinnon would tie with Crosby to lead the league in points. They both had 116. We really just can't escape Nathan McKinnon anymore, can we? As he would also lead the league in goals with 61, one ahead of Kucherov. Bobrovsky wasn't even in top 10 in goalie wins. Allmark led the league with 48. He played 70 games. The Florida Panthers are going in game seven in round number one. That's very meta, but they're playing against Carolina Hurricanes who they literally just swept. We're going to jump into the game seven and see what happens. Period number one, one to nothing Carolina. Period number two, still one to nothing Carolina. Carolina. Florida's actually out playing Carolina and losing. There you go. Kachuk ties the game and they take the leave. Barkov scoring with 10 minutes remaining and then it's just tied right away. I love it. I don't actually love it. And of course, Carolina takes the lead with three minutes left and are going to eliminate the Florida Panthers in round number one. <gasps> and the Hurricanes would go on to win the Stanley Cup, beating the Nashville Predators in six games in the finals. And Bobrovsky, not very good at 907 save percentage and a 3.01 goals against average. Better than his regular season stats but still not what we expect from a literal 99 overall goalie. I mean, look at Freddie Anderson's stats. He's not a 99 and he did just fine. And guess what? He's taller. We found the secret. Nate just led the playoffs in points with 28. While it would be McKinnon, of course, leading the league in playoff goals with 13, and he only played 14 games. Crosby would steal McKinnon's regular season MVP, though. Victor Hedman would win the James Norris Trophy, which we don't actually see that much in simulation. He just would win playoff MVP. Vitek Vanacek wins the Vesna, and Demko wins the William M. Jennings Trophy. So I forgot to think about the fact that Bobrovsky is getting up there in age, so at the end of year number two, he's already at down to a 93 overall. What an idiot. That being said, the Florida Panthers finished second in the entire league. They had a 50, 23, and nine record, earning 109 points. They were one point off of tying for top of the league. Barkov leading the team in points and goals. He had 90 points and 41 goals. And of course, Bobrovsky now being a lower overall, played better because why not? Five shutouts, a 916 save percentage, and a 2.67 goals against average. He played 59 games and won 36 of them. Chetkov would lead the league in wins with 42. Anton Forsberg was second with 40. Leon Dreisaitl would lead the league in points with 116, with McKinnon's line mate Miko Rantanen leading the way in goals with 57. What well, would appear if you beat Florida in the playoffs in this simulation, you're winning the cup. Florida would beat Boston, no problem in the first round in six games, but then lose to Buffalo in five games in the second round, who would move on to win the Stanley Cup after beating the LA Kings in seven games in the finals. We got Uno reversed a little bit here because regular season Bobrovsky played great, playoff Bobrovsky played terrible, an 888 save percentage. Of 3.76 goals against average obviously not winning many games drew dowdy would lead the entire playoffs in points with 28 25 of those points were assists with kopitar leading the entire league in playoff goals with 14. guess who was peeking his head out again nathan mckinnon 14 games played 12 goals for second place rice little is your regular season mvp with chris letang winning the james norris trophy well this is very interesting because not only did Connor bedard win rookie of the year which he hasn't done in a long time in our simulations he's on minnesota they didn't even have a chance to draft him in real life and I'm sure you guys all predicted who won playoff MVP for Buffalo. That's right, Casey Middlestad. I know you all guessed it right. No. With Kachetkov winning the Vesna Trophy and the William M. Jennings Trophy. Bobrovsky comes into year number three, sitting still at a 93 overall. And the Florida Panthers are your number one team in the NHL. They finish with a 53, 18, and 11 record, earning 117 points. And our first 100 point player of the day on Florida, 103 points for Barkov to lead the team. While Barkov and Kachuk both tied to lead the team, goals with 42. There was not another 30 goal scorer on the team. And Bobrovsky, not too bad at all. 41 wins in 62 games, played only 
only one shutout, but a 914 save percentage and a 2.84 goals against average. And even though his team finished first in the league, he did not have the most wins in the league. Samsonov still in Toronto had 42, one more than Bobrovsky. Meanwhile, Hagel is casually leading the entire league in points with 118. I do not know how. I'm not mad about it. I just, I don't know what to say. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. And McDavid led the entire league in goals with 56. I have seen this one before, but usually in the first round, Florida is down three to one to Boston. Can they make the miracle happen in game? Let's find out. A win, a win. And the loss! No, I should have stopped for game seven. I should have fancy simmed it. That's my bad. Florida beat Columbus in round one in six games, would lose to Boston in seven games in round two, and the Colorado Avalanche would win the Stanley Cup after beating Carolina in six games in the finals. So Boston did not continue the streak of if you beat Florida, you win the cup. I mean, playoff Bobrovsky in game is not it. An 8-8-3 save percentage of 3.74 goals against the average. Not good at all. He did have a shutout, but I don't think that matters. You're ruining the whole point of the video, Bobrovsky. Step it up. No. No, I don't think I will. I just realized this guy won the cup, but Nathan McKinnon and Brad Marchand both tied for most points in the playoffs with 29, while Marchand led in goals with 16. Brandon Hagel would win regular season MVP. Wayne Hughes would win the James Norris Trophy, with Nathan McKinnon grabbing playoff MVP, Samson up grabbing the Vesna and the William M. Jennings Trophy. Year number four, the Florida Panthers would finish with a 52-28-2 record, earning 106 points for fourth in the entire league. Chuck and Barkov would both tie for most points on the team with 86, while Kachuk had the most goals with 35. Bobrovsky definitely slowing down, only playing 47 games. He won 28 of them, had two shutouts, a 9-0-2 save percentage, and a 3.03 goals against average. Vasilevsky, Swayman, and Jari all had the most wins in the league with 44, while Natchez led the entire league in points with 100. 121, it would be Cam Turco leading the league in goals with 57. Who? You know, the great Cam Turco, the 19 year old phenomenon. Wonder if he's related to Marty. So at 37 years old, Bobrovsky is now the backup to Spencer Knight. We can't let that happen. We're going to have to trade Spencer Knight, I think. Especially when he plays so poorly, an 875 save percentage, a 4.54 goals against average. They would get swept by the Boston Bruins in the first round. While the New York Rangers defeat the Vancouver Canucks in five games in the finals to lift the Stanley Cup. Natchez would win regular season MVP, while Kale McCarr would grab his first game of the Norris Trophy of the day. Phillip is your playoff MVP, while Ledge Melka wins the Vesna Trophy. And William M. Jennings Trophy goes to Thatcher Demko. In a year number five, a 51, 21, and 10 record would earn the Florida Panthers 112 points, tying them for first in the league, though they would settle for second. 97 points for Barkov put him in first place on the team, while him and Kachuk would tie for goals with 38. I did end up trading Spencer Knight to give Bobrovsky the starter role. We traded for Patrick Kane. Bobrovsky got the starting role, 44 wins in 70 games, played two shutouts, an 899 save percentage, and a 3.17 goals against average. I swear his worst performance was was when he was a 99 overall, which is crazy. EA Sports, it's in the game. And he's very much not a 99 overall anymore. Connor McDavid would lead the league in points in the regular season with 126. Wow, it would be Matthews, Robertson, and Nathan McKinnon, of course, leading the league in goals with 60. While Tristan Jari on the Colorado Avalanche had the most wins with 45, beating up Bobrovsky by one. And as you can see, there would be no Stanley Cup for Florida or Bobrovsky as they get swept by Montreal in the first round. And the Edmonton Oilers would beat the Tampa Bay Lightning in six games in the finals to lift the Stanley Cup. With playoff Bobrovsky being nothing but a myth in the land of EA Sports, an 857 save percentage, 4.50 goals against the average, and no shutouts, zero wins. At the end of their playoff run, Bobrovsky would sit at an 82 overall. There's no way he's not retiring. 35 point performance in the playoffs for Dry Settle led the entire league, while it would be Nikita Kucherov leading the league in playoff goals with 15. Austin Matthews, who is now in the Tampa Bay Lightning, I didn't even realize, trying to pull a Kevin Durant out here. He would win regular season MVP. Quinn Hughes won the James Norris Trophy for the second time today. We really can't escape McKinnon as a new McKinnon approaches and wins Rookie of the Year, while Leon Dreisaitl wins Playoff MVP with Tristan Jari winning the Vesna Trophy and the William M. Jennings Trophy. Definitely not the performance I wanted to see today. Let me know who you got in the Stanley Cup Finals. Are you on Team Vegas or are you on Team Florida? I mean, as I'm recording this, it's still only 3-0 Vegas, so they could perform a mega choke, but I doubt it. Hayes get in. They score! Joe Pavelski! Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.